Okay. So already we have uh, seen the practical of uh, normal HTML and we have used the CSS. So that is the inline CSS already we have used here. So let's open our index space. So we'll go with the. I request you all not to use uh, sublime text. If you know the coding, it well and good. If you are a beginner, do not use Sublime Editor. Better you use normal Notepad. So you can able to find out what mistake you are doing. Okay. The CSS and the selectors. When we were while learning basic HTML, only HTML portion and how you can use the style sheet in CSS. We have used here the CSS you can see here. that is your inline CSS already we have defined here inline. Now we have to learn how we can define the external CSS or embedded CSS. Okay, so we'll create a new code okay, and we'll proceed with that. The first step you create a new file, save the file. They always have the practice to first save that, to save the same path inside the jam folder, SG docs, and our project directory is my web. Okay, so you have to change the extension here HTML. You can see that save type it's coming HTML something TCL ADP. You have to change your to HTML. We can give all file also, and you can save as a, the file name like CSS and give my CSS example dot HTML. So remember, I am creating the HTML file. I have given my CSS. Okay. The same way, what it will do? Basic HTML. Okay, I am not going to use the HTML5 if you want. You can use the same way we have learned about doc type, but I recommend you whenever you create the any website or any web page, uh, use always doc type HTML. And then you start HTML. First, I will use the normal code. Okay, which is generally we used title head is closed. Okay, then we need body tag. Okay, we'll close the body tag. Okay, and finally we'll close our HTML tag. So this is the basic for any HTML based programming we required this is the basic you can see the structure inside this whatever you are going to display on the screen you are going to use inside the body tag and if you want to declare the title in, inside the title and when you need the css then we have to define the css into the embedded so first example already we have spoke and now we will see about the how you can embed css that is embedded css that is inside the page how you are going to embed for embedding so we'll give the example here embedded css okay let's keep saving when you are creating the embedded css remember the css will always will be available inside the head tag. That means before closing the head tag, you are going to define your CSS. That means style sheet. So before that, what we'll do, we'll take some paragraph, okay, or we'll first use heading one tag, okay. We'll write something, this is my, embedded css 
examples and close the heading tag then i need a paragraph tag and in paragraph i will write welcome you all in the web class any one line you need you can write as much you can write because we have to go through the examples if you start writing it will take time more paragraph so this much will be enough to understand and then what you are going to do we have to use now i want a css that means styling the styling of heading one and paragraph now let's open our output and see that what result we are getting so our page name is my css example dot html so i have to give my css example dot html is correct css example dot html okay One minute. Why it is not working? I will save as okay. So thing is that uh, let's change the file name first. Embedded CSS. Okay. Dot HTML. So you can see here what I am doing. And previously we have given the save type as a all. Okay. Remember, we should not use, we have to use save type as HTML. That is, extensions will be dot HTML or dot HTML or dot SHTML or dot XHTML. You can see it is here. Okay. We have to use that. That due to that only, the error will come if you save the file name with different extension, it will not work. I will change this and let's see. So now you can see the result is working. Because we have generally used the same all type, it will not work. Because all type, maybe PHP also will come, but we have not used. So better always have the practice to save the file with the exact format. When you are going to use change, when you are saving the file, then remember save as should be HTML. If you are using PHP, then you will be having here option for PHP also. You can see here. So PHP, PHP 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever the PHP version, that will come to later. Okay. So like this. Now we have done. But there is no any styling, just heading tag is there. And previously already we have learned that the inline CSS, that means you have to define the CSS style sheet here. Now what I want, I'll use this some margin i will want to define margin for this so this embedded css example will see with help of universal selector that means you have already learned that whatever you have used in that all you are going to apply the same style sheet rule then what i'll do i'll go to the head section below the title okay and i will use here a style you can see here with the moment you type st you will get the so many uh, options i will change to a style okay and automatically it will come like this okay a style type is equal to text or css that let it be default don't change even if you not write this one it's okay but best practice always have this so it, it will be understanding that you are using a style set. Even already we have learned that we can define comment section also, right? You can, if you want to use the comment section also, you can use it, okay? Now let's come to there. Now we have defined the syntax for a style sheet, CSS rule. Now here, what we want, we have already learned that universal selector. So universal selector, that means 
you have to use the strict symbol that is a star symbol then you can give the enter also but always have the practice when you are using the selector or any css rule after the selector you have to give opening brace the moment you give opening brace symbol automatically it will take closing also the css whatever you are going to define that should be inside this opening and closing base remember always if you miss there is no semicolon at the end remember only semicolon you have to define when you are defining the property and value pair that is declaration so what i want i want a margin okay then the margin i want is zero give the semicolon you want padding okay that means to move the the top margin and left padding then i will just giving zero zero and save this okay let's see the result base you can see here can you see the difference what difference happen now there is mar earlier let's remove this one first save it now if i refresh you can see that whenever by default we were declaring the normal paragraph heading tag there is so much margin is there left from the left from the top padding and margin both are there i don't want to use this padding i want to utilize the entire visibility area that means entire screen that means on the browser so this entire portion is for us we can we have to use okay then how we have to reduce this so we know that already we have learned in css that you have to use margin and padding i will define margin 0 0 padding 0 so it will margin already i have explained you that margin always start from the the origin is from the top right corner okay so origin the moment if you refresh you can see that even this text padding is not there from the left from top margin also it has become if you change to this something like 100 let's see that what result will be there save it we'll change this to 50 so you will see the difference you can see here now it is padding is moving let's move the padding to 500 and then see so it will not much padding will be generally defined with the like left top that is there is rules for the padding i'll give the padding zero okay and then you can see that i just let's increase to thousand it may be 50 save it yes yes okay so margin thousand generally this is the default so better always have the margin zero whenever you design any page you have to keep margin as zero and padding zero zero now so far i have not used the color if you want the use to color then just give color okay and we'll use hexadecimal color so zero zero ff zero zero okay semicolon save it now you can see that that means we are using universal selector that means wherever you are going to use the color the entire page code whatever you have used h1 paragraph even i will use here division tag okay even in division tag i will give some thing welcome to div tag You can see that everywhere the same color if you change the color code i will give the double f you can see that color code is getting changed okay you can see here entire the html elements we have used for everything now the same color is there okay clear guys
first step to embed the CSS, embedding CSS style. Okay, this is embedding. Okay, next we have you can use whatever you want, but remember in this everything will be yours uh, will be the same color. Okay, now same thing will use with 